what's up everyone last week for the first time in my 21 years as a lineman i had to phone the power system operator and remotely drop a 69,000 volt transmission line feeding multiple substations that clip that we saw in the first 10 seconds of this video was a 69,000 volt high tension fuse that pretty much failed and didn't do its job properly, resulting in the incident. The evening started off, I think I got called into work around midnight, I believe it was, and within 45 minutes of the first call, I lost four main feeders out of the substations in the area that I cover. It was heavy, wet snow. The temperature was like zero degrees Celsius, so the snow was extremely wet and heavy. Just basically bowed down a lot of birch trees. These guys leaned right over, touched the line, so the majority of the calls were pretty quick. I, I'd actually restored power to every customer in my area within three hours. It was incredible. Myself and my partner, Ryan, which whom we met in the transformer changeout video. So the last call we went to was out of a 69 kV sub. When we showed up, the recloser, maybe two poles outside the sub was open. That area there was extremely rural, so I didn't have any intel from the locals as to where the problems were. We drove the line, patrolled it, found three or four birch trees laying down over the three phase, cleared the trees, and went back to the recloser closed it back in, power is all back on. That was literally the last trouble call that I had with this little bit of a snowstorm. So as we were leaving the area, we saw a very slight glow coming out of the substation. Kind of looked like it was a high tension fuse. Whatever it was, it certainly wasn't normal. Before we get into this any further, I do want to explain, and I've mentioned this in many videos before, that our procedures and, and many company across the nation's procedures do allow for shutting power off in the event of emergency without going through your dispatcher. If, if there's a situation where people's safety is an immediate danger, we can always shut power off at our own discretion without going through our dispatcher. We can never turn power back on. Regardless of the situation, we must always have permission to turn the power on, but to shut it off in the event of emergency, we do have a written procedure that covers us as linemen at the field to do so. That being said, it's extremely important that you know what you're doing. Again, I've covered this in lots of videos where I responded to pole fires. So that being said, usually this occurs with cutouts, side lines. If it's on a main line, we can open the recloser at the most, you might drop out one, 2,000 customers. But to shut off a transmission line, you better make sure you know what you're doing. When you make that phone call to the power system operator and say, I need this transmission line shut down remotely now, if there's any errors on your part, it's not gonna be taken lightly. You're In this situation that happened to me the other day, in fact, happened to me for the first time in, as I mentioned, my 21 years as a lineman, I was dropping out tens of thousands of customers with this phone call. So my we do have dispatchers for distribution and dispatchers for our transmission that we call power system operators. So I called the distribution guy first, the, the uh, dispatcher from distribution. And the first thing I did was I opened the recloser back up. I was actually calling to report that we closed it in and everything was back to normal. I was on the radio and we noticed this small glow in the substation. Typically, if there's an arc, if you remove all load, the arc will go out. Not always, but oftentimes, especially if it's on a switch. So we, I just kind of mentioned quick on the radio, we closed in 8004R009. We saw the glowing and I said, Ryan, go open that recloser back up right now. And I said to my dispatcher on the radio, we're gonna open that recloser back up. We both jumped out of the truck, went over and we dumped that recloser. We were walking back to the truck and from the time it took me to walk from three span back and then back towards the truck to see if the arc had extinguished, it had actually gotten much worse. And as I'm walking around the front of the truck, 
I'm trying to go through my head very quickly how we can shut power off to that switch. The only way to shut power off was with the disconnect blade, which is operated by a steel gang switch, which was actually located directly below where the arcing was occurring. So I knew that wasn't an option. Also, you cannot open those steel disconnect blades while they are under load. The recloser was open. That switch basically on the dropout power transformer, the voltage regulators, some metering equipment, not a whole lot. It was a possibility to operate, but in this situation where the arcing was directly over my head, and you can actually see melted, met like molten metal falling to the ground. It was not safe to be anywhere near that substation. That's why we did remain about 100 meters away. I decided very quickly that my only option was to drop out the transmission line. So I called and I said, can you call the power system operator? I need this substation dropped ASAP. Now, I, I've been doing this a long time and I have a good relationship with him, but where it was such an unusual request and had such an impact to our system, I would have expected his first response to be what's going on or can we confirm what's happening. Just something for him, because at this point he doesn't really have an idea of what's going on in the field. His response, my dispatcher's response was, okay, and I'll get back to you, basically, so we hung up the phone. So he called, or it was on the radio. You can hear in the video, I actually dial him up. I use the emergency dial up, which goes to cut straight through all the traffic on the radio. Dialed him up, he called me back, maybe 45 seconds or a minute later on the radio. He says, I have talked to our power system operator and they are going to dump the transmission line ASAP. So that step was done, and at that point he says, are you safe, is everyone safe? And I explained, yes, the high tension fuse is arcing quite badly inside the substation. We've got to get that arc extinguished. Once that arc was extinguished, I said, we can clear it using the gang switch above. Once that's cleared, we'll do a quick visual inspection to make sure there's no other further damage. We can get power system operator to re-energize the transmission line overhead, isolating only that one small power transformer. So at that point, it would only affect maybe 2,000 customers as opposed to the, I assume somewhere it's around 20,000 customers we were dropping with that transmission line. So it was, it was pretty intense. It's, uh, it's a situation that's hard to prepare yourself mentally for because you want to make that phone call as quickly as possible. We need this line dumped because if that had cross plays and flashed over, we may have lost that entire structure, which would have been real bad. But uh, myself and my partner Ryan, we were quick to identify the quickest way to extinguish the arc. Called our dispatcher, the whole process went through. I believe it was somewhere between six and seven minutes from the time the arcing started to the time that everything was completely off. So I don't have a whole lot of other coverage after that, but basically once inspected, we put up some caution tape around the area because we were going to get the transmission line maintenance crew to come in. They, we, I took a couple pictures and sent their way so they could bring some material with them. They had to replace the lower stack of the switch, bring in a new high tension fuse. And it's still kind of a mystery as to why that sparked up. I mean, there was some faults. The OR took care of that. The recloser took care of those faults. Why that high tension fuse lit up like that? No idea, must have been a defect in it. Somehow those fuses are tested before they are installed. But just a crazy night and uh, I want to show you guys this coverage and to emphasize the fact that if you're alignment out in the field and there's emergency, you can typically shut power off, but make 100% sure that you know what you're doing. If not, you're gonna have a whole lot of questions to answer. There she's out. Thank God. Other than that, guys, stay safe, stay warm. It's freezing cold outside today, so I'm kind of hiding away from the cold. And we'll see y'all soon.